Yeah, so what? I haven't filmed in a while. But you know what? It's okay. Because I don't care. Okay? I'm wearing a boy hat. I'm wearing it backwards. My bed is a mess. I'm not going to fix my bed. Have I ever fixed my bed? No. And I'm not going to start now. Because this is who I am. It just is who I am. And you know what? Like, I love who I am. Well, I did it for a really long time. And that's why, like, I didn't film for a while. But, like, why are my neighbors outside? Like, why are you, like... Anyways, so yeah, you know, now I love myself. Do I? Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. We're still learning about ourselves. We're learning what we like. We're learning what we love. And someone drove down my street. That's all. You know, and um, I don't know what I was saying. Cause um, right now, you may be like, Gabby, why do you look pretty but like still really, really weird? And that's because I have like all of my makeup done except for my eyes. Well, that was a lot slower than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, so my eyes are bare. So that's what we're going to do for this video. Um, and for some reason, I didn't think that I would start filming at the time that I started filming. So I don't have the eyeshadow palette that I want to use or my makeup brushes. So you're just going to have to stay there and wait right there. Because I really probably won't be editing this. So hopefully I'll just make it entertaining. So, um... Yeah, my makeup brushes are on the ground while they're open. It's fine. It's okay. And yeah, like, I just grabbed all of my eyeshadow palettes. I'm just kidding, these aren't all of my eyeshadow palettes. But it's okay, like, I just grabbed them, I don't know what I grabbed. So let's see what we have. Yes, I have the James Charles um, brush set. Um, my boyfriend gave these to me for my birthday before he got into that really big scandal. Um, tea, drama, but I think people are uncanceling him. So I think it's okay if I say that I'm using these. Um, because they're really good. Sorry. Um, and then I also have the Morphe X James Charles palette. Again, um, I didn't destroy it whenever everyone else was, whenever they canceled him, because I don't fan- Because I don't follow cancel culture, because I think that that's just irrelevant, and I don't think that that's cool and nice, and I hope that all y'all who destroyed y'all's palettes feel super played. Alright, I hope y'all feel stupid, because, you know, my cousin went through a lot to get this for me. So I could have this and I was not about to destroy it. For what? Yeah. Hope y'all feel stupid. But um, but yeah, and then I have this cool mirror that my friend gave me for my birthday also. So now I can, yeah, y'all see, you see the setup that's going on here? It'll be okay. So now I have this mirror so I can see things up close and then you have like a cute little view while I do my makeup. It's okay. This has been three minutes long. This video is going to be so long because I don't want to edit this. So I'm just going to like rush through because I just really don't feel like editing because like editing is like gives me a headache and I just like don't understand. Like editing is like fun and all but like sometimes like the editing software gets a little too much and I just like I just can't because it's like basic movie maker and I just like can't do movie maker. Also I have the Morphe... 350 palette, I think. Is that what that means? 350, Morphe 350. I don't know. It looks like this. Oh, it really. Oh my God, the James Charles palette fell, but it's okay. Cause I don't have a table. Okay, so this is what this looks like. I really like this one. I bought that one with my own money. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I don't have like a table in front of me and this is like very stressful because I'm using the table that I have as like a tripod because like my tripod broke and like I have snot on my nose and I just like <sighs> okay it's a thing it's a thing we're struggling and this entire time I've been talking to myself not even to you guys but it's okay it's okay there's something that flew on my mirror but it's okay anyways we're gonna start okay so we're gonna start <sighs> so let me get comfy okay should I zoom y'all in don't look at my armpits I don't know if there's I mean, they're probably sweaty because I'm a sweaty person, but like, I don't know what it looks like. Okay, I don't know. I shaved, did I shave? I shaved yesterday, but I'm Hispanic, so my hair is like really dark and grows back really fast, but whatever. Besides the point. So, let's see what we're gonna do. So, I have, you know, these brushes. I already did my base and everything. Um, so, let's just see. Let's see what inspiration I get from the Morphe X James Charles palette. And I'm not gonna put this right here. I don't know why I grabbed it. Like, I wasn't ready to use the brushes and. <sighs> It's a really stressful because I haven't filmed in a really long time, you know what I mean? So I'm just like really extremely stressed right now and I and I hope it's not portraying on camera. So we have this. Okay, so let me show y'all the outfit that I'm wearing. Um, nope, that's zooming in. 
Okay, so I'm wearing this nice cute little crop top. Yes, my shorts don't fit me. It's okay. I'm aware. Okay? Don't come for me. Okay, so I'm wearing, whoa, I'm wearing these shorts. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. I'm wearing these shorts with this crop top. And that's, that's trash. Okay, now I'm wearing this, okay? So this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing black and white. So, should I do a black and white look? I haven't done a black and white look. A black and white look. Wow, that's a concept. That's an idea. Have you seen that? Probably, because nothing is new. But I haven't actually done that. And I have the Jeffree Star lipstick, the, lip, the matte lip, the, the liquid lipstick in white. I'm so out of breath because I don't want to edit this. So I'm talking like really fast, you know? So I have the black and white thing. So we can, we can do that. Oh my God, fun. Tea, drama, shade, lit, everything. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use the Morphe M124. Oh my god, I've always wanted to do that! Okay, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna grab, um, am I a beauty guru? We're gonna grab the shade Flashback. I knew that was Flashback. I don't know why I went ahead and. So we're gonna pick this up. And then we're gonna put this in the, oh my god, there's stuff all in my eye. That is so gross. I'm so sorry that you guys have to see that. Okay, this is getting everywhere. So we're gonna put this in the inner corner. Um, I don't know why I chose to start with this. Because this isn't doing anything. Hmm. Change of plans. We're gonna start with the, okay, we're gonna start with the transition shade. We're gonna do that. We're just gonna start there. Um, excuse me. We're gonna go into this Morphe uh, 350 palette. And then we're gonna grab the shade up front, which is this very first shade right here. And then we're gonna grab that on a, a dirty brush because I don't clean my brushes, but I'm gonna clean these brushes because these are were really expensive and I want these to last a really long time, you know, so I am gonna clean these. But I haven't cleaned them yet because I haven't used them that much. But like, it's okay, don't come for me. Do not come for me. Okay, so we're gonna put that all over. And we're gonna have a swell time. This is a splendid time. Aren't you guys like so lucky and happy that you waited all this time to see my content and this is what you got? I know y'all are. You don't have to lie to me. It's okay. It's fine. You can be honest. I know this is the best content that everyone wanted to see. Okay. So, yeah. So we have that. We have up front down. Okay. So now with the same brush, the same Morphe M433 brush is what I just used. We're going to, we're going to put this palette down. And then we're going to go back into the flashback, into the James... Carl's palette and then we're gonna pack this on as much as we can why am I doing this I feel like this is gonna come out really ugly but you know what it's okay you know why because I am really ugly <laughs> my eye looks are always really ugly and I think that this is just on brand for me you know what I mean like this just oh my god I have stuff in my eyes I'm so sorry this is really gross I hate Ew. You know the sucky part is that I'm probably not going to edit this out. But it's okay because I'm a real person. You can relate to me. Right? Right? Okay. So. We're just going to keep building that up. And we're going to make it look trash. Why is that not? I feel like this isn't. I feel like this shade doesn't do anything on me. How do people keep this like pigmented? I like I just like don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, so we're gonna have that base down. So we have that base, okay. Okay, that's a good starting place, I think. Right. We're gonna do some more because I have no self-control. Alright, awesome. This is great. This looks great, honey. Okay, so I already have a brush that has black on it, and I'm one of those people that uses the same brush for the same color because, like, I don't clean my brushes. So, we're going to use the M456 brush, this tiny little brush. You see, it already has black on it. So, this is perfect. So, we're just going to dip into the black shade in the James Charles palette called Spooky. Okay, 
And then we're gonna put this in the outer corner. Do I need to zoom y'all in? I don't understand. I don't know how being a beauty girl works. But now I gotta crouch down. What if you guys are like more propped up? Hi, Gabby's hand. How are you doing? All right, so we're gonna put this in the outer corner. Can you see? I think that this is okay. Oh, yes, black is everything. Um, and then we're probably gonna put music over this because I need to concentrate, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, fam. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like putting it here and then like hopefully, because the thing is, is that I'll try to do like, you know, like the little like pointy edge where it's like the hard V or whatever. But then sometimes it just turns out to be rounded and then the other eye becomes pointy. And then I just kind of go with that. You know what I mean? Like I just kind of go with whatever my eye wants. So there's really no real shape that I'm going for except for what my eye wants me to go for. And then that's what I do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So just do whatever shape you feel like doing. If you want to recreate this look, I don't even know how this is going to come out. Why? Honestly, let me tell y'all. So literally, if you scroll through my channel, sorry if you do that because it's all trash. But if you do, by any chance, decide to um, waste lots of hours of your time doing that. But if you do, you'll see that all the eye looks that I do, I would never actually do. And all the eye looks that actually look good on camera and the ones that I'm like really proud of, I never end up doing for like a YouTube video. I'm, like I don't understand why I do that. Because for some reason I feel like I just like all of a sudden become an artiste whenever the cameras come on when in reality, you know, you are who you are away and in front of the camera, but I just become more bold and brave, I guess. But it's like, whatever. Now I understand why people only do one eye on camera because this is like taking a really long time and I'm like, oh, I don't want to edit that. So I'll probably will just do one eye on camera and then we'll see what happens. So we're going to bring this like over into like the inner corner por portion because we're going to cover it up with the liquid lipstick anyway. So this is just going to give it definition and this is going to define our crease even more. So what I'm doing now is I flipped it upside down so that the black part is like, because I'm in my crease right now. So the black part's actually rubbing against the fold of my eye. So that way it'll blend out and then give that color there instead of putting it onto the lid where I want it to be white. So you see, you probably will learn something on here. Just stay tuned, pay attention. Okay, learn. Don't pay attention to my overgrown eyebrows because for some reason every time I film videos, like makeup videos, like my eyebrows aren't done. But you know what? I'm relatable, okay? I am you, you are me, we are one, we are one and the same, and you don't do your eyebrows. I know you don't do your eyebrows, and I don't do my eyebrows, so I don't know why you're going to try to come for me, because we both don't do our eyebrows. So, yeah, you didn't have anything to say that, did you? Cool. Okay, so we have that base down, okay? So now that we have that, we look like this, we look stupid, but it's okay because this is part of the process. Just stay calm, relax, do not stress, okay? Because if you stress, then I stress, and then you don't want to stress driver, you know what I mean? So when the driver is chill, all the passengers are chill. So I'm going to grab this random brush. I don't know what colors are on it. It's like brown or something. So we're just going to use this. Um, we're going to use the M441 brush. And then we're gonna buff out the harsh edges of the black with whatever uh, color is left on this product for, I mean, this brush for whatever reason. I don't know when was the last time I used this brush on my eye, but it's okay. It is okay. So we're just gonna do this, okay? We're doing this. We are doing this. Woo! -hoo. Ooh, Gabby Hanna released her newest music video for Butterflies and when I tell you sister snapped, sister snapped, my wig was taken and she put all of them on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch it and you'll be like, haha, Gabby's so funny. But, but yeah, so Gabby Hanna's music video is everything to me. Her song is everything. She, it goes, ooh, 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 ooh. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. You see, 
and it's just like really good. I'm sure that hurt y'all's ears, but it's okay. If it's bad enough, she won't demonetize me. So, not that I'm monetized anyway because I don't have enough views or subscribers, but it's okay. I'm not offended. But just in case. So yeah, so her music video is bomb. Also, Sean Mendez. Don't even get me started on that boy. Mm-mm. Sean Mendez is my everything, first of all. Second of all, his music video is everything. His new song is everything. I can't write one song that's not about you. Can't drink without thinking about you. Is it too late to tell you that everything means nothing if I can't have you? He's my everything. He really is my everything, and I don't know what I would do without him. Like, honestly, like, when I tell you Shawn Mendes is always there for me, and when I'm happy, and when I'm upset, and when I'm not upset, like, literally for everything. So now I'm putting black on my lower lash line right here to connect this. And we're gonna do that, and we're gonna leave the inner corner portion open for the white. And we're just doing this. We're doing it, fam. So yeah, so he's genuinely such an amazing person, Shawn Mendes. I'm telling you, he is one of those genuine people and you know, I know you know for a fact that in person he is just as nice as he is portrayed like in the media. Like you know, I know you know it, you know I know it, you know he knows it, okay? We're all aware of Shawn Mendes and how amazing he is as a human being. Okay, like we all, all we are all aware of who Shawn Mendes is and the type of person that he is, and I don't want nobody to tell me nothing about him because he is awesome, he is amazing, he is beautiful, he is the perfect human being. So don't come for him because I will come for you. So, anyways, yeah. So this music is awesome. I freaking love Shawn Mendes, and if you don't love Shawn Mendes, you are incorrect. But it's okay because that just means I can love him more. Everything will be fine it'll be okay so yeah i guess i'll just you know do my eyes okay i think that that's i think this looks midnight blue and not black but it's okay you know why because we're not done yet we are not done yet sister sister can we do that is he still canceled? I don't know if he's still canceled or not. I don't know if I can do that, but it's okay, because I did it anyway. And it'll be fine. And my following is this big, so it's not like y'all are gonna come for me. Please don't come for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab, oh, haha! It was right here, because I don't put things back where they're supposed to go. So I have a briefcase of makeup. Um, and then I have the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Drug Lord. And I'm going to put this on my eye. And yes, it'll say for your eyes. Fun fact. So go ahead. Put this on your eyes. I dare you to. La 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 Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 we now wore gay apparel. Fa la 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 I kissed a girl and I liked it. Why well, can't I figure out which one should? I don't know what. I don't know what brush to use. But I tell you, I don't know what brush to use. I don't know. There's so many options. I don't understand which one. Which one should I use? Um. We're gonna do. We're gonna go with. That's an angled brush. It's a spoolie for eyebrows. Would this one be too big? Is this too big? Can someone tell me? Should I use this one? I think I'm going to use this one. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use the M124, the one that I was trying to use earlier and it wasn't working out. But it's okay because you live and you learn. Okay? You live and you learn and then you realize that you're stupid and you don't know how to actually do makeup. But, you know what? But it's okay. Okay? It is a-okay. So now I won't be able to stare at myself into the viewfinder, which is probably a bad idea because I won't be able to see. Shh. I'm recording. Don't interrupt me uh, while I'm recording. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of this liquid lipstick on the back of my hand. As if you really needed to see what I was doing. Like, I just told you what I was doing. So, yeah, we're just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand so that way I'm not contaminating the whole tube. And then... I thought I was going to fall. Ah! Ugh, it 
fell down. My mirror fell down. I repeat, my mirror fell down. There was a problem. Oh my god, why are you being so difficult? Okay, so now we're gonna take some of this and we're gonna cut our crease. And now uh, this is probably gonna have music over it because this requires silence. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm putting it on my lower lash line. Okay, so now that you have that and you look like a drag queen, honestly, then you go in with the same brush because I don't know what other brush to use. <laughs> And then you go back into the Morphe X James Charles palette that you can't open. And then you grab the plastic because the plastic isn't, it's always going to come off. And then you wrap flash back on the same brush and then you just pat that to set the whole look. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go back into the black. But I'm not going to use the black in this Morphe uh, James Charles palette. I'm actually going to go into this palette. It's the Sephora Matte Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. And it has this black shade right here that I believe is called number four. I don't know. But it's just a really dark um, black. And then we're going to go in with that shade. Oh my god, I'm gonna try to not like knock y'all down. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna define this black portion on the outer corner and we're just gonna blend and we're just gonna really make it dark and really make it stand out against that white. And then we're gonna do the lower lash line as well. It's okay to layer blacks on top of blacks. Because some blacks are more of a nighttime, I mean a night, I mean a, see I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's more of like a midnight, like blue, like a navy blue. Some blacks are more like a uh, gray toned. Some are more black, some are more brown, some are cool tones, warm tones. You know, so it's okay to kind of play with different types of blacks until you get the one that you actually want on your eye and then the intensity that you want and stuff like that so it's okay to kind of play around with that don't be scared of black eyeshadow just embrace it if you're scared then that's when you want, want run into problems okay so i got it in my eye but it's okay it's fine okay and then we're going to use a clean brush I'm using the M456 brush. I don't know if I just used that one, but it's okay. But it's a clean one and I'm diffusing that product. This is important to do, especially with dark eyeshadows, because then you, if you don't want to add any more darkness or if you don't want to add any more color and if you're scared of it kind of like getting everywhere, this is a great way to blend that product without actually adding any more. And then you're not like making a mess. You're just kind of like making it better. You know, that makes sense. I know it makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to go back in with the same brush that we used earlier, the M124 brush. And we're going to go in with this white eyeshadow, the flashback from the James Charles palette. We're going to do that. And we're going to pack this on. And when I mean pack it on, I mean we're going to like pack it on, fam. Okay, and so since I cannot leave an eyeshadow look without any shimmer, I'm going to add the shade Ring Light, all, um, like in the inner corner, with the same M124 brush. So we're just going to put that in the inner corner and on the lower lash line. And we're going to put this a little bit onto the inner portion of our eyelid, but we're not going to carry it all the way. I still want that matte white to be there. 
So we're just kind of putting this all, like we're gonna over exaggerate our inner corner pretty much to open up our eye right here because the outer portion is so dark and closed. I'm just kidding, we're gonna do the whole lid. Okay, cause I did that by accident, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna embrace that. So we're just gonna pack it on, the entire lid, and we're gonna make it super, super, super shiny. All right, there we go. And that's where we're at, sis. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna go back in to the black shade in the James Charles palette, just because it's open and I don't feel like opening another one. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pack this back onto here, really define the black, really do the bottom. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go in with a Oh, what's it called? Um, a pencil, a pencil of, of eyeliner. And then we're gonna line our inner waterline. We're gonna. I can't do this and hold the mirror at the same time, but it's okay because we're gonna, we're gonna attempt it. This white liquid. Where'd it go? Oh. I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna put this in my inner, my inner. Really, I have a minute left. You see, this is why I can't do this stuff because literally I only have a minute left to do this on my eye and I just don't understand because this isn't made. Anyways, I'm just gonna continue. I'm using the M250-1 pencil brush and we're gonna put this in my inner waterline right here. I look insane. I look really, really stupid. Does this even look good? I feel like this looks really stupid. But anyways, you may be asking, Gabby, why do your eyes not have any eyelashes? It's because I'm warming up my mascara in my bra. It's like a thing. It makes the mascara like work better, but we're gonna wait on the mascara. Um, I need a lip color, so I'm gonna grab my purse from over here and we're gonna shuffle back over here and I'm gonna use <sighs> so the only other color that I have from the Jeffree Star lip collection um, is uh, poinsettia but this and this eye color is not gonna work so of course we're gonna do a nude um, so I'm gonna use the powder puff lippy lippy from NYX in the shade PPL01, Cool Intentions, Intentions Cool, Power Lip Cool, I don't know, this one, we're gonna use this, okay, and then we're gonna put this, and then on top we're gonna use the Essence Shine 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 Lip Gloss in the shade, I don't know, so that's what we're gonna do, so we're gonna do that, okay, oh my god, oh my nose, I look so crusty, y'all, What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of filming. I'm tired of this. I don't even want to think about how I'm gonna edit this because I have no idea and I know it's gonna be super stressful. But you know what? Once I figure out the routine, once I figure out what is best, what works best for me, what's easy, once I get into that, once I figure all that out, I'm sure this will be a lot easier. I'm sure this will be a lot more enjoyable. But as of right now, this is the worst thing that I ever do, honestly. But in reality, I really do love filming. I do love posting. I do actually love editing. I just don't like when things go wrong and things take longer because of stupid things. I'm very impatient. Um, so yeah, so this is my makeup look and this is my really ugly hat that I have on for today. Next is boy on the bag because it's 2019 and I don't need y'all to tell me that I'm a girl because I'm a no because I'm a no because I'm a no I'm a girl. I know I'm a girl, okay? But I think it's a really dope hat and I got it from Puerto Rico, so I'm gonna wear it. 
Um, but yeah, so this is my look. Um, I'm gonna film a video. Oh, I got snot. I'm gonna film a video that will probably come out before this video. So if you're watching this video and you haven't watched the other one, then go ahead and go watch that other one. And it's gonna explain like what I been doing for an entire year, like what my freshman year of college was like, everything that I went through, um, the ups and the downs, and just where I've been for the last year or so because I know it's been a really long time. I know that I love talking about myself and that would be a great video to talk about because I love telling people about my year, my first year in college, and so I really want to share that with you guys because I know I filmed a video, I watched it last night actually, I filmed a video where I talked about my four years of high school whenever I graduated um, and it was like the last day of school and I got to reflect and um, share with you guys like everything that happened with Key Club and stuff like that. So hopefully I can do the same thing with this video and um, you know discuss what happened with Circle K which is the collegiate version of Key Club. I can talk about my grades and um, you know something really big that I found out about myself um, that I didn't think I would ever know that I didn't think that I would even like it would be a thing for me um, so that I'm gonna talk about that um, yeah I haven't really talked about that one thing like in like on social media um, ever because I wanted to make a dedicated video about it because I think that there's a lot to talk about and I don't want there to be any like misconceptions even though there's gonna be I don't want people to assume anything even though there's gonna be assumptions um, but yeah, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just a little thing that um, is just part of who I am. Um, so yeah, so that will be in the video, hopefully before this video, because if this video just comes up and then that other one's to come out, then it's like weird, like why are you doing that? But um, yeah, so that's what I'm hopefully gonna do after I figure out what I'm gonna do with this situation. Um, but yeah, so my room is still a mess. Um, I'm still filming in front of my TV, you are still somehow balanced on my bench, and I still hate doing makeup videos, but yet again, here I am, doing another one. <laughs> so, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have anything that you want to say, if you are excited that I'm back, if you hate that I'm back, if you are excited for my new content, if you are not excited about my new content, if you want to give me ideas, go ahead and comment everything down below because I will be reading the comments obviously because I get notifications and nobody really comments on my videos. So every comment like I read and probably reply to. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and do that. Follow me on Snapchat at GYQM. Follow me on Twitter at GabChat42. Follow me on Instagram at Gabriella underscore Janice. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. Okay, bye!